All right, everybody, this is our next to last week of school. So these will be the last uh, lessons that we do for the school year. And then next week we'll be working on a final review. So <clears throat> um, adding and subtracting unlike fractions is where we're gonna start today. We've added and we've subtracted fractions that are alike meaning they have the same denominator. Today we're gonna to take a look at adding and subtracting fractions that do not have the same denominator. So for this, what you'll wanna do is you'll want to use the skills that you have for finding common denominators and equivalent fractions that we have done in the past. So on page 637 and 638, you have add unlike fractions. It says in the morning an octopus swam for one third hour. In the afternoon it swam for one fourth hour. How much did the octopus, um, how much of one hour did the octopus swim altogether? So we have one third of an hour plus one fourth of an hour. Now the problem with this, as you can see right away, is that you do not have the same denominator for both fractions. So we need to find a common denominator. So for this, you're gonna find the least common multiple. Now you can either go through and do the math to find the least common multiple. So like three, six, nine, 12, four, eight, 12. So what I'm doing is I'm listing the multiples of three and the multiples of four to find the lowest number that they both share. So you can go through and do it that way, or you can come up with a multiple that they both share. Now, if it's not the least common multiple, there's a good chance you might need to do simplifying at the end of your problem. So by finding the least common multiple, you um, kind of make a little easier work for yourself in the end. So here, what would we have to do to three to make it a 12? We would have to multiply by four. Now, whatever we do to the bottom, we also do to the top. So we're gonna multiply the one by four. So one times four is four. Continue our plus sign. Now we have to ask ourselves, what would we have to do to four to make it a 12? times three. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So come up here and do the one times three, and one times three is three. So four twelfths is an equivalent fraction for one third, meaning it's the same value, it's just another way to write it. And then three twelfths is an equivalent fraction for one fourth. So it means the same amount, it's just another way to write it. And we know they're equivalent because anytime you multiply the denominator and the numerator by the exact same number, you're gonna come up with equivalent fractions. Okay, you may notice that we did this side by four and this side by three. That's because this denominator had to be multiplied by four to get to 12. This one had to be multiplied by three to get to 12. Okay, so now we've got four twelfths plus three twelfths, and that comes to a total of seven twelfths. Now, seven is prime, so the only way to make seven is one times seven, and seven is not a factor of 12, so there's nothing that seven can be divided by that 12 can also be divided by to reduce this, so this answer is in simplest form. So it's seven twelfths of an hour. So the octopus swam for seven twelfths of an hour. Now example two says one fifth and seven tenths. So one fifth plus seven tenths. Okay, what is their least common multiple? Well, I don't even have to list multiples because I know that five times two is 10 and this is already 10, so. 10 and 10. Okay, what would I have to do to five to make it a 10 times two? And you know the drill, whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. One times two is two, keep my plus sign, bring down the seven. 
So now we have 2 tenths plus 7 tenths is equal to 7 plus 2 is 9, and you know from adding like fractions that that 10 just comes on over. There's nothing that 9 can be divided by that 10 can also be divided by, so this is already simplest form. Okay, now we're gonna do the two guided practice problems together. So guided practice at the bottom of page 638 is two fifths plus one half. I know right away that I can use 10. This would have to be times two. This would be times two, two times two is four, plus times five on this side, times five. And you end up with four tenths plus five tenths, which is nine tenths. Huh, same answer, nine tenths. And we couldn't simplify this nine tenths, so we can't simplify that nine tenths. Last one is three fourths plus one eighth. I know that I can use eight as a common denominator. This one is already an eight, so I don't need to do anything. So that one just comes on down. What would I have to do to the four? Multiply by two. Three would multiply by two. Three times two is six. Keep my plus sign. Six plus one is seven over eight. Nothing that seven could be divided by, that eight could be divided by, so this is already in simplest form. If you missed a few on last week's homework and you're thinking, man, I know I added those right, it may have been that simplest form. Always, always check for simplest form. Okay, so you do not have to do the independent practice for me. However, if you choose to do the independent practice, it certainly can't hurt. Um, your homework for me will be pages 641 and 642 pages 641 and 642, um, all of those problems on those pages, and please remember um, to check for simplest form. All right, hope everybody's having a great day. I'll see you soon.